In this video, we're going to discuss how to document standard operating procedures through the use of video. So at Flash, we partner with local service businesses to help them use technology and digital marketing to grow their business. One part of using technology to grow your business is to help implement standard operating procedures. So when you bring on someone new, you can streamline the onboarding process. Also, when you want to document things, let's say you're planning to eventually sell your company or you just want to be more organized with a handbook and training manual, this is a great way to take what, what your employees are doing on their computer and then put them into some type of standard operating procedures or system or process. So we use a tool, I'm actually using it right now because it's a great tool for even recording videos and it's called Loom, L-O-O-M dot com. And Loom is free and a paid version. The free version, you can record up to four minutes of video for free. The paid version gives you other stuff. We use the paid version, but you can use whatever you want. When you're starting out, just use the free version. And uh, we help. We, we implemented this with several of our clients over the past week. So I said, hey, let me make a video about it because I think it's something that's pretty beneficial. So the way this works is you get a little icon up here. You can click Loom for Chrome, download that. You click it, you start recording. And the way that we've seen this work is, is let's say you have a, a CSR, customer service representative, that's going to record how to take a call and book a meeting, for example. They would open up the tab, do the process, and then go down here and check this, and they're going to stop the video. And that's going to create a one little clip that says how to do this task. And what this allows you to do is then build a whole database of how to do this task, how to do that task, how to do this thing or how to make this thing. And this allows you to start building your standard operating procedure. So inside of Loom, you can build out different libraries. So I have my all of the YouTube videos here, and then we have all of our training videos here. You can also have different people in your organization creating videos. So we have two members inside of our Loom that can create videos, and then we can share them in different folders and create different things. So I can share them with another member inside of this team. Or I can also share them by sending a link in an email to someone. So what we do, you can see in here, we have each folder and in each, inside of each folder, we have more, we have videos. And so this one is for our consultants. This one is for our sales team that's doing our prospecting meetings. And then this one is for our backend team to build out different processes. And so each person knows kind of where they need to go. What you can do is take these videos and either take the URL of them or you can download them out and upload them and you can put them into like a Google Drive or an, a OneDrive or something. And so what we do is inside of our Google Drive, we have all of our standard operating procedures, whether they're video or they're Google Docs or what have you, and they're all organized in here. And so we can take these and build out our standard operating procedure. So this is how we service our clients. We have our customer service plan. We have our email newsletter. We have our local SEO. We have our monthly reporting that we provide. We have our onboarding process. We have our social media posting. We have our website content creation. And inside of these folders, it drills down into more stuff. So inside the website content creation, we have a bunch of different things that we do from a website content creation standpoint. And this is how we do it. And then we have our email newsletter. We have different things that we do. We have, so each one of these has different SOPs and inside of them have different processes. And so we can take our videos, put them inside of these processes and what this allows us to do is when we onboard a new person, we say, hey, here's how we do everything. Go and watch this. Go and watch this video of how we do it. So this is a cool tool. It is really, really good for small local service businesses that has one customer service representative because if that person leaves, everyone is scrambling trying to cover their job. So if you can have them create videos about exactly how they do things, you can easily plug someone in there for the time being. They can watch how they do it and they can try and fill in. Same with onboarding someone. It's not trying to scrape together what did the last person do. It's here's exactly how the last person did their job. And maybe you build on it from there. So I hope this helps. Be sure to like and subscribe. We post videos about growing local service businesses through technology and digital marketing. Look forward to hearing from you. Be sure to comment below.